Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of my Bluetooth in Action series. My name is James Langbridge, and today we'll be spending some time on our new application. In the previous episode, we wrote our first BGScript application. Today, we'll be compiling, flashing, and testing. First things first, before testing our application, we need to flash it to the board. Before flashing it, we need to compile it and retrieve the bin file. The tools are provided by the SDK in the bin folder. There are two tools that you can use. First up, we have bgbuild. This is a command line application. I haven't added the folders to my system path, so let's call that manually. So, from the applications folder, dot dot anti slash dot dot anti slash bin bg build dot x. As we can see, it requires at least one input, and the input is the bg proj file. So let's feed it that. We've called it luggage dot bg proj, enter, all OK, our application has been compiled. If we had an error, Let's say, for example, that we'll call hardware write GPIA, something that does not exist. We'll save that, and we'll compile it again. Error, luggage.bgs, error, message or procedure not defined in line 13. We had hardware write GPIA, hardware write GPIA is not defined. So, let's have a look. Line 13, that's exactly where we put the error. So let's put that back to GPIO. Let's save the file. And let's try that again. All OK. Our application has been compiled. For those of you who are allergic to the command line, there is another option. If we go back to the bin folder, we have a tool called bgtool. Double click on that, and after a few seconds, the interface will come up. We have a module selection. We're using the bgm111 module, so let's set that. And on the top, we have upload tool. Click on that. We have three fields, the project file, binary file, and connect with. Connect with, it is automatically detected at the board. Binary file, we don't have yet, project file. Let's browse, and again, let's give it the luggage.pgproj file. Open, and click on build. And after a few seconds, we'll have exactly the same output as before. All OK. Let's click on OK. And the application was nice enough to fill out binary file. Brilliant. So, stage two. Now, let's flash. From this tool, all you have to do is click on Upload. Now we have to wait for a few seconds. It is beginning to erase the flash. It is now flashing. We'll give it a few seconds. Finished. Resetting target. Congratulations, you've now just built and flashed your first application. So, back to the command line. We aren't finished with it just yet. Let's close this up. Close. Juice. So, as we saw, we can compile an application, but we can also compile and flash it directly using dash "-f", for flash. Enter. We start compiling again. The application now knows exactly where our board is. We don't need to specify what COM port we're reading. Erasing flash, flashing, and after a second, finished, resetting target. So, as you can see, we can also flash directly from the command line. The command line application does have another trick up its sleeve. So, as I said previously, I'm running this on a virtual machine, so I want to try something. I'm going to disconnect the USB from my virtual machine. Now, the Silicon Labs development board is still connected to the host machine, so it's connected to USB and powered, but the virtual machine cannot see it on the USB. So, what can we do? Well, let's try that again. bgbuild xe-f luggage.bgpod. In theory, it won't be able to flash. So it compiles, and now it says, OK, I cannot find it on the USB. Do we have a TCP IP link instead? Now this is interesting. So, as you can see, the board is powered by USB. It currently does not have an Ethernet cable connected. Let's change that. Let's connect this in. There we go. Now, this is connected to my home network, so after a few seconds, there we go. The DHCP server has attributed 192.168.0.152. Perfect. Let's give that to BG Build. So, back to development. We saw that the IP address was 192.168.0.152. All we have to do now is click on yes. Wait a few seconds, it's compiling. Here we go. The flash procedure has begun. So, 
we can do exactly the same thing on either USB or Ethernet, except there is one big difference. Ethernet cables are much longer than USB. Right now this is sitting on my desk just next to me, but this could be in another room, it could even be in another building. By using Ethernet we can reset the device, we can interrupt it, we can completely flash it, we can do just about anything we need. That is awesome. A final note before we start testing our application. For those of you who prefer using BG Tool, yes, it does indeed work with TCP IP as well. You just click on Upload. If there's no USB connection, it will ask you for the IP address. And finally, it's time to test our application and see what we've written. I've dimmed the lights a little bit, so you should be able to see the LEDs. For this test, I'm going to be using Silicon Labs application for Android. I'm going to click on BLE Stack and Profile Test which should come up with a list of devices, BGM luggage. Perfect, that's the device we created. Now we're going to have a look at the list of services. I'm going to click on the three dots, connect. Connection takes just a few seconds. Loading GAT information, and here we go. Note that LED0 has been turned on. Here are the services provided. Generic access, device information, and link loss. Now let's see what happens when we disconnect. I'm going to click on the back button, we'll disconnect from the device, and now LED0 has been turned off. Our application works fine. Well, we've hit the wrapping up point, so I'll stop here. In this episode, we've seen the different ways to compile and flash a program, and we've had a look at our application. It isn't a finished product yet, it only turns on the light when a device is connected, but since there are two LEDs, we'll come up with something next episode. We'll change the program to turn on the second LED when a disconnect occurs, setting off an alarm, and we'll tweak the first LED to blink instead of remaining on. In the meantime, feel free to drop me a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like the episode if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!